What's up, you two? Make sure you can see me here. Tonight, I'm down here where I'm at the same place where I caught my last fish. Mainly, I'm here again because it's convenient. I don't have much gas. And, uh, well, there is a deep hole right out here straight in front of me, and I hit it. And, uh, I'm pretty much scattering them out. I mean, I'm going deep, shallow, all the way up through here it's shallow, but uh, fishing with frozen skipjack tonight. Um, I got a few, I caught a net full of thread fins, so I'm, I may use those here in an hour or so if I don't get any skipjack, but uh, I had to I had to start my video and restart it. There's somebody come down here daggum naked and jumped into daggum water, and heck, it's something always, You, it's always something down here at Concord Boat Ramp. You're gonna run into druggies, people screwing. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, people uh, having sex, uh, people falling drunk. I mean, you name it, it goes on here at the Concord boat ramp. But y'all stay tuned. Hopefully, I'll have a catfish here before long. I'm not fishing with the best bait tonight, skipjack and thread fins. We, uh, East Tennessee here, we've uh, we've experienced a shad kill, and uh, really, what you want to fish with during a shad kill is less oilier baits, fewer calorie baits like crappie, bluegill, carp. Uh, what a shad kill, what it is when there's, there's when there's a drastic change in water temperature, it sends these shad into thermal shock, these thread fins and these gizzard shad. And uh, I'm, I'm not really in the best place tonight, I don't believe, but, uh, but like I was saying, it sends them into thermal shock and they die. And, the bottom of the water is just covered with dead shad. And these blue cats, they're moving through here, they're gorging their self, stuck this gorging their self on shad. They're probably sick of them by now, like old Catfish Dave said. But uh, I'm here with what I got, and we're gonna see what happens. But like I said, these fish may already be full when they swim by my bait. So it's, it's either hit or miss right now. So y'all just stay tuned. It's a big old skip. These shad are still dying. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right here. Look right here in this water. I mean, they're everywhere. There were so many feet. That's why it's so hard to fish a shad kill, people. I mean, bait all over the bottom. Watch me get a hit right now doing this. See them? They're all over the place. Still dying. They're in thermal shock. That's why it's good to have a variety of baits anytime you catfish, especially during a shad kill, because it's basically like Thanksgiving dinner. You know how Thanksgiving dinner is. It's basically like Thanksgiving dinner down there to them right now. They're like, oh man, I'm stuffed. I've been eating so much shad. Oh, oh look at the bluegill. Oh, I might taste him. Or, oh, look at a piece of crappie. Oh, Hope there's one. Hope there's one about 30 or 40 pounds swimming around up here shallow tonight. Gonna go. I'm full, but you know what? I believe I could eat me a skipjack or two. Mm -hmm. Look at there. I believe I'm gonna eat that bait right there. Mm -hmm. But you never know. You don't ever know until you go. One thing's for sure, you're not going to catch any fish or learn anything sitting on your butt at the house. He come off, guys. No, he didn't. He's still on there. 
be a swimming right too, but I'm not gonna horse this fish. I don't know how good he's hooked. And I'm gonna turn his clicker off. Might be pretty good. He's fighting like a good. He's pretty good blue cat. Yeah, he's pretty good. Hope you guys can see me. There's a shad kill fish. Well, you can tell it's been gorging too. Look at that belly on it. Not sure what it weighs, but. You can see that big fat belly on it. It's gorging on these shad. But, there you go, people. Like I said, I ain't the best YouTuber in the world, buddy, but I can catch him. Thank you, Lord. That's a good fish right there. It's a very respectable fish. I'm going to get a picture of it. only place I can take a picture of it at is up there on the trunk of my car. But I'm going to get a picture of it and get it back in the water. Boy, this fish right here got a big old head on it. Look there. Like I said, it's a good fish, especially good fish from the bank during a shad kill. I'm going to get it back in the water. Oh, gosh, if it let go of my thumb. Jeez, Lee's. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, there she goes. We got the right way to go now, baby. You go on and get out of here. Get bigger. And I want to send a big shout out to Catfish Dave. I fished years, and I'm talking years, unsuccessful for catfish. I mean, every time I was fishing, that's what I was trying to target was catfish. And I was using crappy baits like chicken livers, worms. Uh, but uh, I clicked on his Facebook one day. I seen him holding up a big old striper. And I thought, well, heck, this man catches big fish. I had no idea he had a YouTube channel. And uh, I found out he had a YouTube channel. And uh, I messaged him. I said, man, what kind of gear you use? And I've got the same rods he told me to get. These Kuma Longitudes. Longitude, something like that. But I'm going to tell you what. These are, he's right, he's got a video on it. It's called The Best Surf Rod for the Money. And, and they really are. I mean, I wouldn't take a war pension for mine. I, I got a rod over here. It's ugly stick big water. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like it at all. I don't think it's got nowhere near the backbone as these Akuma Longitudes. But, uh, like I said, I started watching his videos. And, uh, heck, I learned how to catch these catfish. I learned what to use for bait, when to use it. Like I said, it would be hit or miss tonight on this skipjack because they, they're gorging their cell phone shad. But uh, Lord bless me, and I got me one. I'm going to give him all the praise and glory for it. And uh, thank you, Lord, and thank you, Catfish Dave, for teaching me how to catch these things. Well, guys. I believe I'm going to call this a video. Got that one decent sized fish and that one little dink, but at least it ain't no daggum skunk. I have to say that's pretty good considering 
we're in the middle of a shad kill. I want to ask you people to like this video and subscribe. There's more to come. God loves you. He's got a plan for your life. Keep it safe and in between the ditches. Like and subscribe. This is Lee Wayne signing off.